On Monday, President Trump tweeted out a picture of the brave service dog that helped sniff out the austere Muslim scholar and Democrat hero Dogpu al-Baghdadi, also known as Elon Omar's ex-boyfriend. To commemorate the occasion, somebody made this meme depicting the president awarding the dog with a Medal of Honor, which caught the president's attention, so he decided to tweet it out and called the dog an American hero. But liberals started to get suspicious when they noticed that the picture of the dog getting the Medal of Honor had the same exact facial expression as the original picture of the dog that the president had posted. Unable to understand that this was clearly a meme, CNN's Jim Acosta did some investigating and later reported that a White House official said, quote, the dog is not at the White House. Uh, I, I, I'm tired of this. This genius who works for Voice of America said, quote, I requested details from the White House on this photo. There was no such canine event on the president's schedule, but there is a Medal of Honor ceremony set here for later today for an active duty Green Beret. The New York Times put these two journalists on the case, and later, because of their hard work, they reported, quote, Trump tweets a fake photo of a hero dog getting a medal. <laughs> it was fake. ABC News also got to the bottom of what really happened and reported that Trump tweeted a fake image of him putting a medal around the dog. <laughs> Many other independent internet sleuths were also on the case and reported their findings. Like this guy who was able to find the original image of the dog and exposed President Trump's fake photo. This genius found the original photo that was used to make the meme and thought he was clever and busted President Trump posting fake news. This guy called it a tremendous Photoshop fail and pointed out that no dogs can have the exact same facial expression in two different pictures. In other news, I have an update for you on yesterday's story about Deadspin, the sports website, which was recently taken over by a new parent company who directed the editors and the employees to cover sports. At least seven members of the staff quit in protest because they don't want to write about sports. They want to keep writing about President Trump on a sports website. Only millennials would get upset and quit when their boss puts their foot down and tells them to actually do their job for a change. The staff, which is unionized, released a message saying, quote, stick to sports is and always has been a thinly veiled euphemism for don't speak truth to power. Imagine working for a food magazine and then you just decide to start writing about some woodworking projects you're doing on the weekend and your boss tells you to stick to food and you get upset about it. And there's some breaking news regarding the 2020 election. Camel Toe Harris has cut her staff and cut the salary of the remaining staff because, well, she's trailing in the polls and nobody's donating to her campaign. But she fully intends to win. Well, we have uh, made a decision, a, a difficult decision, but made a decision of what we need to do to win. <laughs> so it is never, it never was supposed to be easy. I'm running for president of the United States. Um, but from where we stand right now, knowing the kind of support we have here in Iowa and in other states where we are still very much committed to being, um, I do believe that we have a path and that we are on a path to be able to win the nomination. <laughs> Sure you do. Good luck, lady. In all seriousness, though, she knows she doesn't have a clue, but this is how dirty the political game is. They just have to pretend like they still have a chance. But in reality, she's just hoping that if Joe Biden gets the nomination, that she'll be picked as his VP running mate for maximum diversity because she's a woman of color. But things aren't looking so good for Joe Biden. In fact, President Obama's former senior advisor, David Axelrod, said that he's in the Candidate Protection Program. It's not the Witness Protection Program, it's the Candidate Protection Program. They're just trying to hide him from the public so he doesn't make any more gaffes. And here's what a reporter from New York Magazine had to say about covering the Biden campaign. I started following the campaign uh, back when he announced. Uh, I've been traveling throughout the, the early voting states with the campaign, going to a lot of his events. And there is a sense among reporters uh, that you're kind of waiting for something bad to happen. You're waiting for the inevitable. You're waiting for this to result as his previous two presidential campaigns uh, resulted, which is in him dropping out. 
This is not looking good for the Democrats because their entire crop of candidates are a bunch of losers. Happy Halloween, by the way. I was gonna do a whole video about how liberals are scared of Halloween costumes these days, but I think that's pretty much old news by now. But did you know that they are scared of pumpkins? Bed Bath & Beyond decided to stop selling these jack-o'-lanterns after they got a complaint from a customer that they were act face blay. <laughs> you guys know Pig Latin, right? I'm trying to avoid this video from getting demonetized. Those poor pumpkins are in act face blay and they're offensive. Big shout out to whoever left that comment in yesterday's video, by the way, suggesting using Pig Latin to get around the censors. That's a great idea. Yep, these pumpkins are acist ray and itway upremacist say, so they can't be sold anymore. And speaking of secret codes, I finally released a shirt that you can wear in public without being worried about attracting any unnecessary attention from the liberal lunatics in the area. It is my long-awaited and much-requested, oh wait, what's this, shirt. As you know, with most of my shirts, you have to wear them at your own risk. Or be thoughtful about where you go when you're wearing them because it's getting pretty crazy out there. But with this design, you can pretty much blend in anywhere and only those with a brain will be able to decipher the code. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And like all of my designs, it's available to t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie and a whole bunch of different colors as well. And this week, use the promo code HALLOWEEN at the checkout to get free shipping and handling in the United States. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.